All right, so the last thing that I've got to teach, uh, and they've started asking these questions on the AP exam, and it has to do with differential equations, and there's, there's two things, and we're going to talk about both of them, and you've got effectively two Khan Academy assignments today, and then I'm going to give you a progress check that's strictly differential equations tomorrow, and we're going to hopefully, so they will be done with differential equations. Uh, but before we talk about writing differential equations, they're really big on, uh, on some topics that are from Algebra 2, so we need to review them. So there's some wording that should have happened in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2, and I just want to make sure you know that. First part, so if I talk about y is proportional to x, so when I talk about y is proportional to x, that means y, anytime you see the proportional, and in Algebra 2 or Algebra 1, they may have even actually inserted the word directly, proportional, but in calculus, we just word proportional. And whenever they say y is proportional to x, that means they have the equation y equals kx. Anytime you see the words proportional, right, that means you're going to have an equal sign, and then they have a k next to whatever the letter is. And k is the constant of proportionality. So directly proportional, everything stays on the same line. If it says y is inversely proportional to x, then that's going to be y is equal to, you know, k times 1 over x, where the x is in the bottom. And the other type is y is proportional to the difference of a and b, and so that means we're going to have y is equal to some proportion, some constant proportion, times the difference of a and b, so that's going to be a minus b. All right. So with these words, right, when you see those words, this is what they mean. So how does that matter in calculus? Okay, so how does this relate to calculus? Well, and these are types of questions that you may see. It says, so this is now a calculus. This is an example of a calculus problem. It says the rate of change, um, the rate of change is, sorry, is proportional to the current amount. All right, so they're saying rate of change. And they said proportional to the current amount. Let's translate this. Well, the rate of change, that's a derivative. That's a rate. So I could either write it as y prime, right, is proportional. So I have my constant of proportionality. I have some random k, the current amount. So that's talking about the actual y. So we end up with this differential equation where I have y prime equals k times y. But when you have to solve something, instead of saying y prime, you'd probably say dy dx, or uh, actually dy dt is equal to k times y, because uh, it's a rate of change. So it could be dy dx, most likely it's dy dt. All right. A little more subtle version of that you're dealing with calculus, and that what's on the left is a derivative, as they talk about speed is proportional to the inverse of distance. Well, speed, that's, I guess I could call it velocity, but you know, we'll call it speed. Uh, you know, if I, actually, let's change that to velocity. Right? So if I start with velocity, so if I say v is proportional to the inverse of distance, so let's see, that's 1 over, and I can call it distance, um, but what we know and think of distance as your position, and we know velocity, and we know the derivative of position is equal to velocity. So if I look at this, I can almost think of it as my, this velocity is the derivative of my position. So I end up with v prime is equal to 1 over what my distance is. Or I could think that, you know, I, I still have this other thing where it's dy dt is equal to actually constant of proportionality, k over my distance, which in this case is y. That's not very legible. Let's see if I can write it over here, where I have dy dt. So that's my velocity is equal to, you know, my constant of proportionality times 1 over the actual distance or how far I've traveled, which is y. 
another example. It says the cooling rate is proportional to the difference between the room temperature and the temperature of the object. It says the cooling rate, right? So that's the rate that the temperature is changing. So D capital T DT, right, is proportional. And now it's this case between the difference. So we have like some ambient temperature. So this is like the temperature of the room. So I'll just call that, uh, actually I'll call it A for ambient temperature, minus the actual temperature of the object where T, so the rate that the temperature of the object is changing is on the left side and the actual temperature is on this side. And what we have is a differential equation. I'll change it in terms of X's and Y's. Let's say I gave you a differential equation where I said dy dx is equal to k times some number, I don't know, minus y. And I asked you to solve for this differential equation. You get the y's on the left, the x's on the right. So your first uh, Khan Academy assignment is a bunch of word problems, and they're just asking you to write the differential equation. Now, here's the warning. Khan Academy questions are way easier than the ones I'm going to give you on the progress check. So make sure you get these done because tomorrow when I give you the progress check, you're going to have harder problems to do. So the second thing about differential equations that we haven't talked about yet is verifying a solution. So here's an example. Here's a basic example. So let's say I give you the differential equation where it's y prime is equal to 4y over x. And you are asked, is this a solution? So is y equal 4x? Is this a solution? So how do you verify if this is a solution or it isn't? Well, what you want to do is basically plug it in. Everywhere you see a y, you're going to plug in 4x. And if it says y prime, figure out what y prime is. So, well, that's pretty easy in this case. So y prime is going to equal 4. And so when I plug what I know in, meaning instead of y prime, I put a 4. And I have a 4 here instead of y. I'm going to put a 4x. And that's going to be over x. And when I work all this out, I get 4 is equal to 16. That's not a true statement. And since that's not a true statement, this is not a solution. All right. Well, what if I had given you, uh, what if I had said, is this a solution? If I'd given you y is equal to x to the fourth, is this a solution to that differential equation? Well, same idea. If y is equal to x to the fourth, and I know that y prime is equal to 4x cubed, and now I'm just going to plug what I know in. I know that y prime is 4x cubed, so I put 4x cubed, into, and this is 4. And instead of y, I'm going to plug in x to the fourth over x. And when I work all this out, I get 4x cubed is equal to 4x cubed. Notice I get an equation that works. And since I get an equation that works, then I know this is a solution to that differential equation. And of course, one way you could do it is this is actually a separable differential equation. You could solve it. But there are going to be some problems that you can't solve. Right? For example, look at this problem. Okay. So if we look at this particular example, so here's a differential equation where I say y prime is equal to y minus x. And I ask, does y equal, is y equal 2x? Is that a solution? All right, to be honest, all right, these two examples I actually got by watching Khan Academy. Uh, I don't know. I wanted to explain them. Uh, but they didn't write it this way. Instead of writing y prime equals y minus x and y equals 2x, and to be fair, the AP exam could write it this way. They could say this is f prime of x is equal to f of x minus x, and they could say is f of x equal 2x a solution. I've gotten so used to dealing with y's and y primes. Anytime I see f of x's and f primes of x's, it kind of confuses me. So and, uh, I always try to convert things to y's and x's. All right, now back to the problem. So our job is, here's our differential equation, and I want to know, is this a solution? 
Well, notice I've got a, I know what y is. I can plug a 2x in. I've got to figure out what y prime is. And, well, that's easy. y prime is equal to 2. So I plug it in. Well, y prime is 2 equals y is 2x. So I have 2x minus x. So I have 2. Does that equal x? This is not a true, this is not, we're not trying to solve for x. We're trying to find, is it a true statement? This is not, x could equal 2, but it doesn't have to. Since this is not, these aren't exactly equal, this is not a solution. Okay. So now let's try option 2. Well, let's say that next I want to try if y equals x plus 1 is a solution. Well, if y equals x plus 1, then that means y prime is equal to 1. And now I want to plug those into my differential equation. So that's y prime is 1. So I plug, that's 1. y is this thing. So I get to write x plus 1 minus x. And when I work this out, I get the you know, very useful equation of 1 equals 1, which is a true statement. So this is a solution that works. Now, to make matters worse, there's sometimes lots of answers that work. For example, what if you were what if you were given y equals e to the x plus x plus one and asked if that's a solution to this differential equation? You have to approach it the exact same way. It's like we know what y equals. There's a y prime, so I need to figure out what y prime is. In this case, y prime is going to equal e to the x plus one. And now when I plug this in, I know that y prime is equal to e to the x plus one. I know that y is this thing, so end up with e to the x plus x plus 1 minus the x. And when I work all this out, I end up with e to the x plus 1 is equal to e to the x plus 1. And since this checks out, that means this is also a solution to the differential equation. Now, same warning applies. I'm giving you a Khan Academy assignment. And those problems are a little bit easier than what I'm going to give you on the progress check. So make sure that you go through and practice today because it's going to show up on the progress check tomorrow. Thanks.